All right, everybody, this video is going to show you how to use some filter effects in Adobe Photoshop, do a very similar thing in Adobe Illustrator. And if you're having trouble with both of those at home, um, I'm also going to show you another online web-based image editor called Photo P. So to begin with, we're going to look at my ugly mug here doing a, a fun little pose. And what I'm going to be looking for is up in the top, of my applications bar, I've got the filter option. When I go down here, it shows me lots of different filters I can do, but the best way to actually see all these is just click on the filter gallery and that will display kind of all of those in one place. And down in the bottom left, if I click the minus, now I can see the whole thing, okay? So here are all the different filters you have, and all you do is simply click on one, and that will show you the effect, the preview, and then it will allow you to, to play around with the sliders that will adjust that effect or that filter um, on your image. The cool thing is you can layer effects in Photoshop on top of each other. So if I like the sponge look, I can go down here to the bottom and click on the plus, new effect layer, and right in here, I can start mixing one effect on top of another, which is kind of fun. So I actually kind of like this. I'm going to see what this looks like. Let's go for something in between. And depending on your computer processing speed, you know, your effects might vary. It might take a little bit longer. Um, when you're all done with it, click OK. And that will be your new image that you have saved in Photoshop to work on. So now let's go to Adobe Illustrator. So I go to Adobe Illustrator and I uh, place this image on a document. I select the document and then I go up to Effect in the menu bar in Adobe Illustrator. Scroll down, it has a bunch of vector based effects. Um, they call them Illustrator effects. Those aren't gonna work too well on an image so what we're looking for is the Photoshop effects. And most of these you will recognize um, crossover from Photoshop. So same thing, click the effect gallery and then you can play around. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Um, play around with filters over here, change the look of things, same thing. And then you click okay when you like what you see. And that will apply the filter there, okay? Let's say you don't have Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop at home or it's not working correctly. There is another option you have. Um, if I go to Google Chrome and type in photop.com, it's a very similar web-based editor. Um, that It's kind of a stripped down version of Photoshop. So I'm gonna go File, Open. I'm gonna find my image to use. Okay, there it is. Same thing up in the menu bar it has a filter option. See all the different filters. They're all in one place when I click on the filter gallery. And there you go. You got sliders, you have different layers that you can put on top of each other. So very similar, you know, it's not quite as Versatile is obviously the Adobe products, but it will do the job most of the time um, to do what you need to do. When I'm all done with it, I can go over here to OK. Since it's web-based, it goes a little bit slower and clunkier, um, but overall it's a pretty impressive program. So I click OK. There's my image. Then I can go to File. Instead of saving it, I can save it as a PSD, a Photoshop document, but if I want to save it a JPEG, I go File, Export As, PNG, JPEG, PDF, any of these would work, um, depending on what type of project you're doing. So thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Learn how to apply filter effects either with Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, or using Photoshop P. Thanks for watching.